At one point or another, everyone has uh, experienced the moment in their life when they realize this can't be a coincidence. Now, together, we will do something truly amazing. A little bit earlier, we asked you uh, at home to uh, be sure to um, find a deck of cards uh, if you want to participate in the thing that we're going to do right now. And we remind you again uh, that you will actually destroy the deck of cards, so make sure it's an old one. Yes. Jonas, we brought back the signed and sealed box. So could you just hold that for okay. now, and we'll get back to that in just a minute or two. Okay? okay? Now, everyone at home, take out the cards, and we want each and every one of you to have four cards. Four cards. Um, just listen to our instructions and take out the cards, and in the meantime, I'll just deal out some cards here as well. Yes. So, so all for you. each of you who want to participate, just take four cards, any cards, out of the deck and uh, leave the rest of the deck on a table. So, we'll start by holding the cards face down in the hand, like this. Turn them and grab them between your hands, like this, along the short sides, thumbs on the middle of the long side and rip the pack in two. Rip it in two pieces and put one on top of the other. Yeah, so one pile on top of the other. It doesn't matter which one. No. Great. Now, this will be all about making decisions. And uh, some of the decisions uh, we will make, uh, some will be made uh, as a group, and some will be made individually. And all decis decisions count. I will start taking the first decision. And the first deci decision is to take three pieces from the top and put them somewhere in the middle of the pile. Three pieces from the top of the pile and put them somewhere in the middle. Great. Oh, we almost forgot. We need a receipt yes. as well. So everyone at home, as, as well as you here on stage, take the top piece and put it into your pocket. If you don't have a pocket, you can just stand on it, keep it safe. Okay. Now, we're gonna exchange some pieces with a friend. If you're at home and you don't uh, have uh, a friend <laughs> at hand, uh, you can just ignore this step. But grab the p person next to you, and you decide together if you want to change one, two, or three pieces. Once you've decided that, you need to, to uh, d decide on the, the same number. You take those from the top, one, two, or three, exchange. Yep, like this. And you take the new pieces and you put them somewhere in the middle Great. of so the pile. One, two, or three, do it now. Decide. And if you have a friend at home and you're doing this together, uh, then you exchange pieces, as Piri said, and the Great. Put it are you in the middle. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Now, you've got to make a decision on your own. So decide for yourself if you want to take one, two, or three pieces from the top and throw them away. One, two, or three pieces from the top and throw them. It's your own decision. Yeah. I threw one. How many did you throw? Two and two. one? one. Two? Four. Four. No, okay. Yeah, yeah. So joking. let's joking. give you one back. Three of them. Okay, yeah. okay, that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Now we need a number between 1 and 10. Works with all numbers, but 7 works the best. So we're going to move 7 cards from the top to the bottom. It sounds a little bit difficult, but we follow Jonas and everything will be clear. I will lead you. Okay, yes. so do as I do. Are you ready? So take the topmost piece and put it on the bottom, and I'll count 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, and finally, seven. Now, finally, we are going to get rid of all of the pieces. All of the pieces except one, but important. Right now, we have a different number of pieces uh, in each hand because we have made different choices. So it's very important that when you reach the very last piece, when you hold just one piece, uh, piece left, then you stop. Don't throw it away, okay? So take the top piece, put it on the bottom. Take the next one, throw it away. Top piece, 
put it on the bottom. Next one. Throw it away. Top piece. Put it on the bottom. Next one. Throw it away. Now I have only one piece left, but if you have more than one, you take the top one, put it on the bottom. Take the next one. Throw it away. Top piece on the bottom. Next one. Throw it away. And now you have just one piece left, correct? Yes. yes. Not really, because yes. we have a receipt as well. Yeah. Now it's time to bring up the receipt. Please oh. hold the cards with it back towards the audience in, in chest height. <laughs> and despite everyone making different decisions, we'll turn on the count of three. One, two, and three. <laughs> we have a match. We have a match, we have a match, and we have a match. 100%. <laughs> uh, keep your cards, keep your cards for now. Jonas, let's take this one step further. Jonas, we're about the same age. Did you ever play with one of these as a kid? Mm, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes, okay. Yeah. We'll do like this, we'll take the box, and I want you to give this a few shuffles. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you know how to do it. Great. Now, Jonas, I will give you 10 more seconds to make this shuffle as randomized as possible. Okay? Are you ready? Yeah. Go. Fun facts about the cube. There are more combinations within the cube than there are stars in the universe, which makes it uh, so many, many combinations that Every new combination, every time you shuffle it, it's a new combination. Stop. Now, Jonas, we asked you to sign the box, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. one and a half hours, something like that ago. Mm -hmm. We also asked you for a pin code. Yeah. Uh, do you remember the pin code? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you wrote it here, it's 7575. Mm -hmm. Now, this will be all about coincidences. Could you please hold up the cards again so we can see them? 7575. Seven, Jonas, could you please have a look? 7575. Seven, but let's take this one step further. You mix the cube, correct? Yeah. Let's open the box. The first time during this event, approximately five hours ago, me and Jonas made a Prediction. Can you see what it is? Yeah. It's a Rubik's Cube. Yeah, yeah. Every time you shuffle a cube, it, it makes a un unique combination, correct? Yeah. A unique combination. Oh, one. <laughs> This is our prediction, Jonas. Two, three, four, five, all six sides matches. Thank you so much for having us and have a great show. Have a great event. Thank you. Amazing. Amazing. Totally amazing.